I know it's been a while I've, since I put out a video. I want to go ahead and just do a quick workbench video today on something that you may have seen on other channels, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and cover a little bit of a twist that I did with mine. Um, what I'm talking about is this guy. This is the small uh, SDR uh, shortwave radio. It receives up to just about... Oh, it's up in the 100 and just over broadcast FM. Um, I did notice one interesting thing about it is that it does not cover the 6 meter band, which is a little bit interesting uh, that it has such a wide coverage that it doesn't cover that, but it's just something that it doesn't cover it. Um, so this one I picked up a couple months ago. I've been kind of playing around with it and noticed that it works well. Um, the original firmware on it that came with the radio was a little bit lacking um a little bit clunky to use so there's been a recent update that um oscar mike zero echo tango uh, put out a video on and i went ahead and updated the firmware on my radio to go ahead and use the new one that's out um i will get a link to that and put that in the description but um to give you an idea what that looks like, I have got my radio already updated to that firmware. I'm going to go ahead and put the antenna on here. Turn that on. There is an on-off switch right here on the side. A little quick tour, antenna connector on the top. USB-C port for charging and firmware update on the other side on the top. It does have a headphone jack or external speaker jack on the end. Of course, you have your multi-function button and rotary control here. It is actually clicky. So you can go ahead and uh, select whatever you're going to be changing in the menus. Let's flip that on. There's the new firmware. If you want to pause and take a look at that, you can grab that information. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this down. That's what I'm looking for. So this is the new firmware that is available for it. Not really what I wanted to go ahead and cover tonight because it's it's something that there's a video out there for it. I, I didn't want to go ahead and rehash that video. What I wanted to address is on the back, there's a little tiny speaker right here. And it actually is very, very thin sounding, um, very small. And the problem that you run into is, unless you're going to stand this up, you lay it down on a table. Let's get back to uh, <laughs> our frequency there. This is public radio, so it is public domain. I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy up. This is volume 45. If you notice, the audio is very quiet. Expand your personal collection of classical music with the daily download. Grab a I can even turn that up even further. The daily download is online at yourclassicalmpr.org. That maxes out at 63. So yeah, it does get loud enough, but let's do this. We can turn back down here. Instead of carrying around a powered speaker for the plug-in on the side here, I went ahead and decided I wanted to use this on my desk. So as I'm sitting at home, um, I can have this sitting on a desk and, and you can set it like this. You still run into where there's just nothing behind it to reflect the sound and it still sounds thin. So what I did, we'll set that guy right there. I made this. This is actually a dock that this will sit in. It's not the prettiest thing, so I'm not going to be selling them. But it will be available on my Thingiverse. Um, may I also make it available on printables? I have made some adjustments. This is a, a first draft one, so there's some jaggedness around this hole. The adjusted version, this has been fixed. But what it, ha what it does is it allows you to take the radio, drop it in here, there's a hole right here 
that goes out to a chamber in the bottom. So when you have the radio in the holder and you set it down on a desk, it's going to come out these vent ports here. So it's going to amplify or at least redirect the sound out the front so it's easier to hear. So it, this was printed on a um, FL Sun. Some people call it Full Sun, depending on who you talk to. A uh, Super Racer that seems to do okay. It's slow. Uh, there's definitely issues on that that printer. I've been fighting it for a couple of years now and have something new on the way. But it took about the print time in the slicer said it would take about an hour and 40 minutes to print. Um, if you're running a Bamboo Labs or something like that, it should take considerably less time. So what this does, it allows you to take the radio and dock it right in this box. So this does have provisions for charging. It has a port on the top that is set up for charge, so you can plug it in. It has a spot for your antenna to pass through, so you can leave your antenna connected, or if you run it with an external antenna, for example, an outside antenna that you want to connect up for shortwave, you can do that. Um, but this is the difference in sound. Oops. Okay, there's 45 again. May not pick it up as well on the camera, uh, just because, well, it's a camera microphone for one. But what it's going to do is, like I said, it redirects the sound out these ports on the front through an opening in the bottom. The speaker is routed out through a, an indent here. Um, and once you have it on a flat surface, it gives you redirected sound. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead, do a quick test of 50. I'm going to take this out. And there's the difference in sound right there. To me, this reflects off the desk a lot. But if you put it in the stand, it amplifies, you do lose a little fidelity, but it uh, it amplifies a bit more to the front. So, just something I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. I will have a link to this in the description for my Thingiverse, where this is free to download. If you want to use it, great. Uh, if you want to make changes to it, just, you know, follow the guidelines. I allow remixing. Um, just let me know if you remix it. Let me know what you did with it. It'd be great to see what people have done. Anyway... I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy down. We'll back that guy off. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and end things here. I want to say seven threes. Thanks to you guys for watching. And if you found something educational, interesting, or entertaining, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you decide you don't want to subscribe or if uh, there's something that I could go ahead and improve. I'm sure there's always something that I could improve. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. 7-3.